got you covered. This is News 4 Tucson, live at 10. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Angelique Lazardi. John Overall has the evening off. More than one year has passed and a family is closer to finding out what will happen to the man that killed their 18 year old daughter. News 4 Tucson's Mark Mingura has the story. Joshua Hilaire pleaded guilty to an amended count of second degree murder and domestic violence for killing his girlfriend on May 6th in 2018. We spoke with her family following Hilaire's plea. <laughs> Tucson police entered an east side apartment back on May 6th in 2018 and found Rosara Hernandez dead on the kitchen floor, leaving her family in shambles. Her mother was in bed for months, dropping down to 90 pounds. So when the court summons for Hilaire's plea arrived at their home, all those emotions came right back. And you get there and you know, okay, you're gonna, I'm going to see him and you tell yourself, I'm going to be okay, I'm going to be okay. There is no okay. There is no okay with with being in the same room as as the person that killed your child. Hernandez went to Hilaire's apartment to pick up her stuff after the couple broke up the day before. It wasn't until later that night Hernandez was found stabbed and strangled in that apartment. Last week, Hilaire pleaded guilty and is facing between 16 to 25 years behind bars. Why does he get a chance to come out and make, a, make another life, man? I mean, my daughter doesn't get to come back. Just, just doesn't seem fair. He gets out in 25 years. Eh? Hilaire's official sentence will be decided in March. Rosara's parents have created an organization called Justice for Rosara, which helps those who are affected by domestic violence. This Saturday, they're having a domestic violence memorial walk, which would have also been Rosara's 20th birthday. For more on this story, head to our website, kvoa.com, after the show. In the studio, I'm Mark Mangura, News 4 Tucson. Mark, thank you. Well